Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure mini review in 4K on the Marvel Legends 80 Years Fan Channel exclusive Stealth Invincible Iron Man. Try to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Megalopolis City of Collectibles, where you can enter into their awesome rewards points program whenever you purchase over there to get free figures. And they have an awesome Black Friday sale going on right now. They are selling out of figures that they have those crazy deals on very quickly, so if you want to get some awesome figures for a great price check them out link in the description below that's going all the way through cyber monday so this figure right here i picked up a while ago some of you are like oh i got this before you shared him as well no you don't know when i got these figures you know what i mean a lot of the time i get them and then the video doesn't get posted for quite some time afterwards but anyway big thanks to pantalos muertos for making this happen right over here he's helped me get a whole bunch of figures so check out his instagram link in the description below now you can see that we get the 80 years logo on the very top and then we get a nice Stealth Iron Man logo spot varnished right there. I like that. And then you can see a nice image of the Stealth Invincible Iron Man on the side. And then on the back, you can see a product shot. And then there's a read-up that says, Tony Stark modifies his suit for stealth capabilities to take on cybernetically enhanced ninjas. I don't remember reading this storyline, even though it's just very familiar to me. And then on this side, you can see the Stealth Iron Man again. And not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open and MGO style. Toss of the packaging, and then here is the Iron Man figure uh, with his sword and that repulsor blast right there. Looking pretty cool, man. And then there's a Luke Skywalker all deceased in the background. I'm get out of here, Luke. But yeah, that looks pretty cool so far. I'm pretty stoked about it. It is a repainted Invincible Iron Man figure. Um, it's, you know, it's, it is what it is, man. Not everybody's going to want this figure. I kind of am a sucker, or I definitely am a sucker for the Iron Mans. So, yeah, I wanted to get him. Now, as far as the accessories go, uh, not as many as the other Invincible Iron Man figure, but we do get these two opaque blast effects, which I really like a lot. So, these look really good. I like that opaque blue and white. Looks really nice on this. So, I'm very pleased with these. I like them uh, compared to another one that has the frosty white on there. This one's all translucent, and you can see that the frosty white's at the bottom. Kind of makes more sense to have the frosty white on the top, I guess. Both look really cool to me, though. I like that. And then we do get a whole bunch of interchangeable hands. Uh, we also get this awesome Udong Taskmaster sword right there. Looking really neat. A little bit of lint right there, but nice translucent yellow. So I dig that. Looks very cool. Uh, he has three sets of hands. You can see he has weapon holding hands. There's no arc reactor or anything on the back of these, uh, but on the other two sets, he does have uh, this nice blue paint. Oh my goodness, I really like that a lot. That looks awesome. And then on the back of the fisted hands, he has like this different design pattern going on here that it's kind of funny. It's like each set of hands is different from the other. So no two sets are the same or look identical like they're supposed to be with the same figure. Uh, this one has a little bit more of a pattern on the back right there, so that's looking pretty good. You know, they're all just very different from each other, which is a little bit weird. But anyway, looking at the paint on this figure, because it is a repaint, and that's mostly what we're here for, is just to see how the paint came out, right? It looks pretty good, man. Uh, I gotta say, we get some nice silver right there on the helmet, so I can't really complain about that. I do like how the blue looks. Looks really cool in those creases, especially. I do like this like gunmetal color with a little bit of a blue to it. I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to describe, but it just seems like there's a little bit of a bluish color to this gunmetal. I really love the blue and all those creases. Oh, that looks so awesome. I really dig that a lot. That is really cool. I'm going to run the elbow. The arc reactor has a touch of white in the very center. Really like this metallic gunmetal color. That is sick. I don't know, man. I'm just a sucker with blue and silver. I just really like it a lot. It just looks really cool. And I'm not a, you know, a, what do they call it? Cowboys fan for you, uh, NHL, NHL uh, NFL. I'm like acting like I've never seen any sports on TV ever right now. But yeah, it's because I don't really watch sports. Anyway, action figures. That's what we're here to talk about. And butts. There you go. Iron Man butt. And then here's the thighs. Looking really good with that blue paint. I really dig it a lot, man. That is super cool. And then the feet even look nice. Look at that all decked out. Yeah, really dig that. 
very cool looking and he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet all right so let's get a measurement on this guy or right, we can go through our articulation real quick his head moves up down side to side a little bit no real wobbling you know no tilt just a little wobble shoulders move outward that much they rotate a full 360 bicep swivel double jointed elbows these hands do not have a hinge on them they just rotate side to side the other two sets of hands do have the up and down motion he has a nice smooth ab crunch over here hear that compared to this one oh sounds like the death of an action figure doesn't it I'm dying oh god that's horrible and even the waist swivel is kind of stiff this one is a lot smoother hips move outward that far he'll kick forward back a tiny bit upper thigh cut double joint knees ankles move down and they do move up and he has beautiful ankle pivot and the feet aren't as weird as they were on this one i, I felt like the feet were just weird on those uh ankle pegs but yeah this one is just kind of better with our articulation just overall a bit smoother so let's go ahead and stand this guy up it'll just take me a second right over here now you have to wait because i'm not editing this video and i have uh, thanksgiving number two happening tonight i'm gonna hang out uh, with my wife's family yesterday was with my family so here we go, get him standing right over there. Hopefully the camera gets in focus sooner than later. Come on, camera, don't let me down. All right, that looks okay. And to measure out this figure, you can see he is standing at about just a little over six inches, six and a half inches tall, yeah. So a little over six and a half inches tall right there. And then for a comparison, we have the original version of this, just one more time. So you can see it in case you didn't get the point the first time. There you go. There's the two of them side by side. And then here is the Series 1 Toy Biz Stealth Iron Man variant. Thank you so much, Nick Jordan. This has been on my uh, grail list for quite some time. Very happy to have it. Thank you. And we have the two-pack Hasbro Stealth Iron Man. And I really like this a lot. I'd love to see a repainted 80 Years Iron Man with these colors because I love how this has the gunmetal and then the very dark blue on the limbs. I just think that looks incredible. But, you know, it's really small and this mold is super out of date. And then, of course, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. And I did get off the phone, or I was on the phone for a bit with Apple earlier, and I'm getting stuff straightened out, so I'll get some stop motion back on the channel fairly soon. But anyway, what do you guys think of this figure? Huh? Is this a figure that you think is worth getting i think all these fan channel exclusive figures are just kind of like you know it just depends on how big of a fan are you are big fan you are of the particular character you know they're not all or ever rarely essential figures that you really have to get right most of the time they are repaints so for me uh, i really like the stealth iron mans and i wanted to get this i knew i was a sucker getting it because just a repaint but hey I like this repaint. I think it looks very cool. I wanted it. I don't even remember the storyline, and I just think it's really neat looking. So for me, uh, I give it a sud rating of, yeah, it's not so bad, because it's not so bad. It's a good looking repaint, but not incredible. Oh, one thing I wanted to show off before I forgot is that you can take the Tony Stark head sculpt yeah, from the previous version and get, get it on there. It, oh, okay, it is on there. Cool. I was trying to shove it on there more than it already was, but that looks really funny, but it fits on there just fine. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. And by the way, uh, this video is intended for viewers that are age 13 and older for adult collectors. I should have said that earlier, but you know, I hope you guys got the message. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Uh, if you want to support this channel over on Patreon, uh, your contribution would be much appreciated. Help me post all these videos and help me get some new equipment to step things up and everything really appreciate it all right you guys stay tuned for a fully edited review tomorrow and if you want to see a fully edited video that i posted earlier today you can find that over on this youtube channel because i reviewed some star wars figures and it's force friday so you gotta review some star wars stuff anyway i'll catch you guys later peace